Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be speaking about Armour 4, the topic of Armour 4. Now, there's been told that Armour 3 has stopped now, so there's going to be no more actual DLCs, no more updates for Armour, so hopefully they're thinking about working on Armour 4. Now we know Armour 4 isn't going to be coming out in 2020, as we previously thought, as the actually they're still working on the armor engine, which is the infusion engine. That will be the new engine. As you know that Daisy actually uses the engine currently, but it's like a hybrid. It's mixed with the infusion engine and some other engine. I'm not too sure what the other engine's called. So the infusion engine actually isn't fully worked on yet. So they need to work on that first. We do know that they are working on the infusion engine currently, but it's a case of when is that going to be actually finished so they can start working on Armour 4. Now I have a tweet on screen from an Armour 3 developer that actually said, oh, we're stopping working on Armour 3 now, we're going to start working on Armour 4. Obviously we know that isn't true because he did say when the Tanks DLC came out, oh, don't worry, we're stopping working on it. But actually, they made Armour 3 mobilisation after that and they also made Armour 3 contact. So in all, that was a big gibbet. Now, the price of Armour 3 was $40 when it came out in 2013. Now, we know that games prices have gone up and you know how it is, inflation, etc. But we do know that games have come out. So this is probably going to be around $50 to $60 when Armour 4 actually comes out, which is probably going to be worth paying for the amount of effort that they probably will put into this. All the new key features, all that good stuff. We do know that there's going to be modding because obviously daisy has got modding and actually all the other armor games do have modding. We do know that there's going to be all different kinds of stuff. There's going to be like vaulting, all that good stuff in the game as it's been a mod in armor. But actually in Daisy they've made it so it's actually built in to the game. So hopefully we can have something like that on armor 4. Now we do know if you keep up to the Daisy development that now Daisy is actually on PS4 and Xbox. So I 100% think that Armour 4 will definitely be on Xbox and PS4. The reason why is because they've done it with Daisy on Infusion Engine. I doubt it'll be that hard for them to actually do it for Armour. I don't think it's going to be a big task. The only problem with that is we do know that when Daisy went on to Xbox and PS4, the development of Daisy actually did slow down for the PC players. And that obviously left us waiting a lot longer for new updates and bigger updates. Instead, you get smaller updates and obviously it might take them longer for them to make a DLC or something like that. As we know, Armour likes making DLCs and maybe it'll take a long time for them to actually get a fully working DLC out with no bugs on PC, no bugs on PS4 and no bugs on Xbox. Obviously, this can be problematic. Because some people will leave the game, obviously, because sometimes you can get bored if you're just doing the same thing over and over again. That's why DLCs are good for games, as they refreshen up the game and they make it more enjoyable. Arm 4 will probably have paid DLCs and also non-paid DLCs like they've done with Armour 3. Obviously, we know the map that I'm on now, Malden, that was a free DLC for us guys to play on. And it was pretty cool when it did come out. We'll also have paid DLCs like Contract, Global Mobilization, all that other good stuff that we've had in the past. So you can work out if you're going to buy some new epic DLCs from Armour 4. Now I'm sure when Armour 4 comes out, they'll fix all the desync issues, all that them problems that we do have with Armour sometimes. When you're playing on a full server, you have a lot of desync issues and that's obviously a problem. Also, the infusion engine will open up like a wider range of things that you can do. More modern abilities, more scripted abilities to actually be able to do stuff. It'll also widen up what you can do for the developers of the game. So the developers will be able to do something that they've never actually been able to do in armor before because of some backlash things. Now, some people think that armor is actually not going to have a single player mode. I doubt that that statement is correct. Come on bruh, everyone plays Armour 3 single player, no matter what it is. Everyone's based off Armour 3 single player. 
you know that's how you make all your missions your campaigns you know it's how you edit servers and place buildings and stuff Daisy doesn't have a solid single player mode but modders have brought in a decent single player mode which actually does work for placing buildings spawning vehicles all that good stuff so I'm a hundred percent sure that people will mod it in if Armor 4 doesn't have a single player mode but 90% sure that the Armor 4 developers will definitely definitely put a single player mode in for Armor 4. We all know that Armor will bring new weapons, new vehicles, new sounds, new animations, a new map, all that good stuff. You might even think, oh they might release two maps for us to mess around on when in the game this comes out but the question is will they reuse assets like they've done in the past from armor 2 to armor 3 will they bring armor 2 assets to armor 4 armor 3 assets you know to armor 4 as well and will they have some new assets or will they just reuse all the assets my personal opinion i think they'll make some new assets but i do think knowing armor and bohemia interactive the company itself they do love reusing the assets that they've made before as a lot of armor 2 buildings are in daisy and they mix and match they like to swap over our assets all that stuff as we know with liviana coming to daisy now a question is do you think that armor will bring a map to the official game armor 4 what used to be a modern map as we know molding came from armor 1 and some people liked it and they brought it over to armor 3 so will they take another map let's say takistan and use that as another official map for armor 4 they could do that i don't know what they're going to do personally you let me know what you think they're going to do now we can say 99 percent sure that armor 4 will definitely have a third person and first person mod it happens with every single armor and I think it's gonna happen with this obviously they'll have things where you can disable it so you can't go in third person or you can't go in first person we all love third and first person who doesn't now armor 3 says that it's always wanted to explore the alien theme and see how it did in armor 3 so maybe they'll be making armor 4 so it's solidly aliens i don't think i'd fancy that and i don't think it'd entice me to play it if it were just aliens i'm not a true fan of aliens and all that stuff i'd like it if it were just like it is today but maybe they'll bring some alien stuff over and put it in the base game of armor 4 i'm not too sure we'll obviously find out about that now some people don't understand why the infusion engine will open so many things for the armor community and it'll make it so much better and I can understand why but just think where Daisy's come from from its old engine to where it is today with its new engine the infusion engine hybrid it's gone so much further and it's so much better it will introduce so it's not laggy the armor 3 as we know takes up a lot of fps and you can have a really really good pc and you're probably getting 40 fps but with the infusion engine you can have a rubbish pc and the fps is absolutely amazing a lot of people run daisy on 200 fps no problem and they might not have a good pc so that will fix all the lag issues in armor now as you can see Armor's got many DLCs that they've published and now they've said we're not going to do any more DLCs but you can work out from all these DLCs at the price range this is probably how much they're going to cost for Armor 4 all these DLCs will probably have a DLC like Armor 3 Apex but it'll be for Armor 4 with loads and loads of content I can remember when that came out and that was pretty epic but they've got quite a few DLCs and there'll probably be this amount in Armour 4, so we can look forward to all of that. Now, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will be keeping up to date with Armour 4. If any more news comes out, I will let you know. Um, I'll probably make a video on it as soon as we get some more information. Because I am really, really excited for Armour 4. I loved Armour 3. I love playing it. I used to play it every single day, without a doubt. Now, I've got kind of bored of it. And I can't wait for something new to come out. If this video did help you out with information on Armour 4 
um, please do leave a subscription and a like. Please tell me what you'd like for Armour Throw. Please tell me as well what year you think Armour's coming out in. I think 2022. That's my guess. I wonder what your guys' guess is. Please let me do know. I will read all the comments. Don't worry about that one. Join my Discord. That will also be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.